You too. Mr. President, I don't need to tell you that I've got a large microphone at my disposal, and I'm going to demand that you publicly announce that you are going to veto Cameron's bill if it passes. Not going to pass, Ted. It's not going to get voted on. No, I'm saying as a gesture, as a symbol. I'm saying as a gesture, as a symbol. You make that public demand, Ted, and you're going to be Cameron's best friend. The people in my house want this, and they're complaining to me that you take their money and run without listening. Oh, God, Ted. Give me the name of one person who's complaining to you, and I'll call them personally and tell them I will never sign a law like that. Well, then why won't you say that? Ted. Why won't you say that publicly? Because I know what I'm doing, Ted. Because I live in the world of professional politics, and you live in the world of adolescent tantrum. Don't you ever slap Josh Lyman around again. That guy is the White House Deputy Chief of Staff. He's not one of your associate producers. You're right. Don't screw around with me now, Ted. I'm really not in the mood. I mean it, you're right. Right now, right this second, the worst thing that could possibly happen to gay rights in this country is for me to put that thing on the debating table, which is what happens the minute I open my mouth. Do you get that? I'm a human starting gun, Ted. You got to trust me. I know what I'm doing. I do trust you, Mr. President. Do you? Yes, I do. And I like you, too. Thank you. Have you enjoyed yourself tonight? <laughs> <laughs>